So this is not the first time I made a video about this type of concept, not the last time. And throughout the next, I'd say, year or so, we're going to see a lot of companies kind of go with the same concepts as idea. This is coming in from Tech Radar, and the person who wrote it was Raj, who went ahead and said the Motorola Razr 3 foldable phone leaks said it will get a top-end chipset and lose the notch. So obviously, what they're talking about is a notch. We go ahead and open up the phone, that little notch in there that everyone hates on iPhones. It's very much a very hateable thing. We go ahead and put on the iPhone right here, that little notch right there. People do not like it. Now, I think ever since Oppo has came out with their Oppo Find and 5G, everybody kind of loves the fact that it has no crease down the middle. So as you can see right here, look how much that crease shines for the camera. Yes, yeah, so that crease is a big issue and the Oppo's phone took away that crease. So now I think every single company now is trying to say, you know what, we're going to be really, really amazing. We're going to take our, our phone, like for example, Motorola's new phone, they're going to take the old phone and say, we're going to remove something that's going to make this phone now absolutely amazing. And was that? It's going to be the notch, right? For the Oppo's phone, they took away the down the middle, the little crease. And I think we're going to see that more and more as different phones come out. They're going to really market the fact that, hey, listen, this phone has blank. We took that away, right? Now, I'm really interested in this Motorola Motorola Razr 3 foldable phone. Reason why I'm interested, right? It's because the Galaxy Z Flip 3, while had a lot of good things about it, where they fixed a lot of issues with the actual device, the one thing it still failed to fix was giving itself a good battery. And based on reports and rumors, this is spec speculated to have a very good battery, which Finally, we're going to have a flippable phone with a really good battery. And when I'm talking about really good battery, guys, I'm saying that when the Flip 3, people are reporting that they're not even up get, not even able to get up to six hours of battery life on that flippable phone. Now, the price tag is nice at around $1,000. But if you can't get up to six hours on a flippable phone, it becomes almost obsolete and useless to have. So that's what's really cool about this Motorola phone is we should see it have a really good battery life. Other things it talks about in the actual article is that it's claimed the Motorola 3 could come with three RAM options, 6, 12, and uh, 6, 8, and 12 gigabytes of RAM. This bad boy right here could have the same gigabytes of RAM as the Z Fold 3 in my hand right here. Also will be, of course, with three different storage options, 128, 256, and 512. So obviously, like always, whatever version storage option you get, usually you get that gigabyte of RAM option too. Unlike the previous models, the third generation handset may see the notch be replaced by a punch hole cutout for the selfie camera. So kind of like how the Z Fold 3 actually is. Right there with that camera, that is kind of what we're going to see with the Motorola phone. Rather than having like a notch, we're going to have that exact concept. Now, this is speculated to have 120 hertz in a display, which is very common for a lot of affordable cell phones, flippable cell phones. That's not really too, too crazy. Um, it's supposed to have a rear 50 megapixel primary shooter and a 13 megapixel for ultra wide and macro uh, shots. Very interesting. The selfie camera will be 32 megapixel camera. Uh, it will shoot in 60 FPS at 4K UHD, so no 120 uh, FPS, which is kind of disappointing. Um, anyway, though, it does say that uh, a 20 by 9 ratio, and this device could carry a 2800 milliamps battery. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Z Flip 3's battery, because if that's the case... Because again, the reporter is going to have a decent battery. Yeah, the Z Flip 3 has a 3300 milliamp battery. So this is going to be 500 milliamps less. Hopefully that report is not true because it's reported to have an actual good battery. So I'm really hoping that is not the case because right now that's the biggest issue with the Z Flip 3. And the reason why a lot of people are not going with the Z Flip 3 is because of that battery life. They just simply can't, you know, 
you can't buy a phone for a thousand dollars that lasts you six hours worth of time it just simply can't do it you it's not going to be a you know plausible main device maybe a secondary device but as a primary device they just can't do it so i'm hoping motorola does go ahead and actually get a better battery in this phone because if not i mean 2800 milliamps that's just really honestly nothing i will definitely say and it's going to do a lot of the same concept that the z fold 3 does or see z flip 3 does so it definitely needs a little bit better of a battery in that unit but again like i said we have to wait and see what kind of uh, other rumors come out on this device and what we could eventually find out but at this moment in time we do know that the google pixel google pixel notepad i still i don't know if i like that name notepads coming out in sometime in march we do know that we're going to get a lot of different huawei phones this year oppos is thinking about creating another oppos fold 2 uh um finding 5g 2 coming out this year and obviously we do have this phone we have a z fold 4 a z flip 4 and that's where i kind of will we're gonna start seeing these phones like this phone right here by motorola really start trying to compete with i mean the z flip 4 you gotta think with all the issues with samsung that they know is wrong with the z flip 3 that they're gonna give a bigger battery and a better battery in the z flip 4 so these companies coming out and this is room right now 2800 milliamps you gotta think we're at least gonna see a 3800 milliamp battery in the z flip 4 i'm gonna be interested to see how 2023 ends up going around because that's when i think a lot of people are gonna realize hey listen if you want to make a flippable phone you can it's very easy probably less you know time consuming and also less you know resources and an affordable phone but you're gonna have to figure out a way to get a bigger battery in there and that could be a selling point you could literally market a phone especially a lot of these chinese companies that are creating these flippable affordable phones you could probably market a whole entire phone off the simple fact of listen this actually is not gonna have to worry about having a bad battery you're gonna be able to get through a whole entire day i could literally make a whole entire commercial that says listen you can actually get through a whole day with this phone that's how amazing this phone is is you don't have to worry about not being able to go through a whole entire day with this cell phone so again like i said i'm interested to see these flippable affordable phones throughout the rest of this year and into next year but samsung it's gonna be a big year for samsung guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe button down below we upload daily 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 uh tech content on this channel uh we would obviously revolved around foldable flippable phones and all types of other news if you guys did enjoy this video the likes coming down below i'll see you guys next one peace out